a Gaia and Ubuntu. I'm Dr. Michelle Merrill. This is part of the Nova Sutras Project. A Gaia and Ubuntu. This video will describe and demonstrate a practice you can use to open sacred space for rituals or ceremonies. You may wish to use it at the beginnings and or endings of gatherings, or when you're settling in for personal mindfulness meditation. This borrows from many indigenous spiritual traditions in honoring the gods, guardians, spirits, or winds of the four compass directions, the corners or quarters. It also borrows from Buddhist metta meditation in that it is an expression of love, compassion, and gratitude directed from your own center out into the world, a wish for wellness and peace for other beings around you. It relies on rough spatial orientation with the four compass directions plus above and below. When I think about above and below, I think not only of beings literally above my head or below the soil where I am. For above, I also think of all beings that reach skyward or that dwell largely above the surface of the soil or the waters. When I think of below, I'm considering all those beings that live in the soils and especially all those that live beneath the surface of the waters. Below, then, is really where most of the life on Earth dwells. Trees may be included in both the above and the below, as they are the great connectors of these two realms of soil and sky. You may do this standing and turning to face each direction as you name them out loud, uh, as I'll demonstrate. You may also do this just sitting still and silently for meditation by casting your feeling and intention in each direction. I like to start in the quadrant where the sun currently is relative to where I am and then move sunward through the compass directions and finish on above and then below. I often follow this simple calling of the corners with a projection from my center of wishes for a Gaia and Ubuntu to ever wider circles of appropriate geographic or ecological zones, as will be demonstrated. Don't forget to include yourself and your sense of Ubuntu with everything in each direction and circle. A simple calling of the corners. It's afternoon, so I'm going to start with the West. May all beings to the West abide in Ubuntu and Agaya. May all beings to the North abide in Ubuntu and Agaya. May all beings to the East Abide in Ubuntu and Agaya. And may all beings to the south abide in Ubuntu and Agaya. May all beings above abide in Ubuntu and Agaya. May all beings below abide in Ubuntu and Agaya. May all beings I can sense, all beings nearby, abide in Ubuntu and Agaya. May all beings in my watershed abide in Ubuntu and Agaya. May all beings in my biome abide in Ubuntu and Agaya. May all beings on my continent abide in Ubuntu and Agaya. May all beings in my hemisphere abide 
in Ubuntu and a Gaia. May all beings in this biosphere abide in Ubuntu and a Gaia. May all beings throughout the universe abide in Ubuntu and a Gaia. You want to follow the path of the sun as much as you can. Cover all six of the major cardinal directions. And then you want to talk about nearby, uh, within the reach of your senses, things that you can see or hear or smell. Then extend that, often that's uh, to, you know, something that's still regional, maybe still a circle of easy walking something that you can think about, or perhaps a watershed. Then you want to extend that further to include the habitat that's like the habitat where you are, that's contiguous with it, that that touches it in some way, that's connected to it as a migratory route, um, as space for wildlife to roam, then you want to extend larger. When I say my whole hemisphere, what I envision is the half of the globe where, where I'm standing is the center point. So for me in coastal California, that includes a lot of the Pacific Ocean, most of North America, some extends south of the equator, most of it's north. Where you are, envision that place on the globe and envision a quarter of the, a quarter of the way around the world in every direction from you as your hemisphere. Then we extend to the entire world and all the life within it. I refer to it as the biosphere. You could think just the Earth. And then we open to the possibility of life beyond Earth. In this way, we really celebrate our connections to absolutely everything, all life everywhere. And we wish them well. Ubuntu and the Gaia.